Welcome to the world of undercover policing with the 1987 TV series 21 Jump Street. This show took a unique twist on crime solving, focusing on young looking officers going incognito in high schools to tackle teenage crimes. No flowery descriptions here, just raw and relatable stories that keep you hooked. Curious about the funny, shocking, and sad facts hidden in this series? Keep watching because there's more than meets the eye. Now, think back. Do you have a cherished memory associated with 21 Jump Street? Maybe it's a hilarious moment or a plot twist that left you stunned. What makes this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the gritty realism or the exploration of issues relevant even today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. And now it's your turn. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show? Drop your stories and memories in the comments. Your voice matters in this conversation. Get ready for a roller coaster of nostalgia, laughter, and maybe a tear or two. There's more to 21 Jump Street than you remember. Keep watching, keep reminiscing, and share your stories. A television series that emerged in the late 1980s, 21 Jump Street served as a significant platform for emerging talents, notably propelling Johnny Depp into stardom. The show, although initially captivating, exhibited a decline in quality after the departure of key cast members like Depp and Peter DeVuys. Operating on a unique premise, the series revolves around a group of young police officers fresh out of the academy assigned to an undercover program. Their mission is to infiltrate high schools, addressing issues such as drug abuse, bullying, underage drinking, gang activity, and racial tension before they escalate. While the concept may seem unconventional, the episodes delve surprisingly deep, exploring societal challenges prevalent in high schools. Despite its engaging narrative, the show bears the marks of its era, with the representation of characters reflecting certain outdated stereotypes. Notably, the white male actors take center stage, relegating the black female and male Asian leads to supporting roles. This shift in dynamics became more pronounced with the introduction of a new white male character in the third season. 21 Jump Street offers an intriguing watch, particularly for enthusiasts of police procedurals. Unlike its later cinematic adaptations, the television series manages to tackle substantial issues, providing episodes that strive to convey meaningful messages. It stands as a commendable addition to the genre, demonstrating a unique approach to law enforcement within a high school setting. In conclusion, 21 Jump Street, despite its age, remains a worthwhile watch for those interested in the genre, offering a blend of entertainment and thought-provoking storytelling. Set against the backdrop of the United States, the series 21 Jump Street found an unexpected home in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where it was filmed. The geographical disparity between the show's setting and filming location adds an interesting layer to its production history. Johnny Depp's initial reluctance to join a television series transformed into a six-year commitment, driven partly by skepticism about the show's longevity. Ironically, his presence played a pivotal role in its massive success. However, by the third season, Depp's discontent grew apparent. He voiced concerns about the scripts and delivered lackluster performances. With legal intervention, he extricated himself from the contract, bidding farewell to the show after the fourth season. During its debut season, 21 Jump Street led the Sunday night lineup on Fox, marking its entry into the television landscape. The show's unexpected trajectory from Depp's initial reluctance to becoming a cultural phenomenon reflects the unpredictability of the entertainment industry. In the realm of 1987 television, 21 Jump Street stood out as a unique series that ventured into the world of undercover policing. Johnny Depp and Peter DeLuise, surprising the audience, lent their vocal talents to the opening theme song, with Holly Robinson Pete taking the lead vocals. Interestingly, Holly Robinson Pete remained the sole constant in the cast throughout the show's entire run. While other cast members came and went, she stood as a steady presence, contributing to the show's consistency. The show's trajectory took an unexpected turn with the character Booker. Initially slated for a dramatic exit at the end of the third season, the character proved to be unexpectedly popular. This led to the creation of the spin-off show Booker, giving the audience more of the character they had grown to appreciate. 
With its raw and relatable storytelling, 21 Jump Street delved into societal issues within high schools, tackling problems like drug abuse, bullying, underage drinking, gang activity, and racial tension. Despite its engaging narrative, the series faced challenges, notably a decline in quality after the departure of key cast members. The introduction of new characters also shifted the dynamics, reflecting certain outdated stereotypes. Filmed in Vancouver, British Columbia, the show's setting in the United States added an interesting layer to its production history. Johnny Depp's initial skepticism about joining a TV series transformed into a six-year commitment that played a pivotal role in the show's massive success. However, by the third season, Depp's discontent became apparent, leading to his departure after the fourth season. 21 Jump Street's journey from skepticism to cultural phenomenon reflects the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. Its unexpected trajectory, coupled with the challenges faced by the cast and crew, adds layers to the show's legacy. In the late 1980s, the undercover policing drama 21 Jump Street unfolded with surprising twists and behind-the-scenes anecdotes. Notably, Jason Priestley and Shannon Doherty each made appearances in separate episodes, with Priestley taking on two distinct roles in Mean Streets and Pastel Houses. The show, known for propelling Johnny Depp into stardom, also served as an early platform for several Hollywood stars before they achieved fame. An amusing tidbit involves Depp's on-set antics. As a light-hearted joke during filming, he was known for sporting a tube sock in his pants, adding a touch of humor behind the scenes. This offbeat behavior became a notable aspect of the behind-the-scenes camaraderie. Beyond the cast and quirky moments, 21 Jump Street featured guest appearances by big-name Hollywood stars before they reached the height of their fame. Despite its age, the show served as a launching pad for emerging talents, contributing to its significance in police procedurals. Filmed in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, the show's geographical disparity from its U.S. setting adds a unique layer to its production history. Depp's initial skepticism about joining a TV series turned into a six-year commitment, playing a pivotal role in its unexpected success. However, discontent with scripts and performances led to his departure after the fourth season. As the series unfolded, unexpected developments occurred, such as the character Booker, initially slated for a dramatic exit, but proving unexpectedly popular. This popularity led to the creation of the spin-off show, Booker, providing fans with more of the character they had grown to appreciate. In conclusion, with its raw and relatable storytelling, 21 Jump Street addressed societal issues within high schools while navigating challenges like cast departures. The show's journey from skepticism to cultural phenomenon reflects the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. In the world of behind-the-scenes stories, the TV series 21 Jump Street reveals interesting tales. The holding cell in the Jump Street Chapel had an unexpected use actors occasionally spent the night on a cot to make sure they were on time after a night of partying. This quirky solution helped them avoid trouble for being late to work. After the second season, there were plans for a spin-off called City Court to follow Jump Street cases through the court system. Unfortunately, a writer's strike in 1988 stopped the series production, and the planned two-hour pilot featuring Tom Hansen on trial for murder never happened. Instead, the storyline was incorporated into the third season finale. During the show's success, Johnny Depp, a rising star, became increasingly disenchanted. To amuse himself, he took liberties with his lines when feeling discontent. This subtle act of rebellion added complexity to his on-screen performances. The show's journey had unexpected twists with challenges and unforeseen developments. From the initial reluctance of the lead actor to the unique use of the holding cell cot and Depp's subtle defiance, 21 Jump Street navigated a varied path. The proposed spin-off, the creative use of the holding cell cot, and Depp's subtle rebellion added layers to the show's narrative. As the series unfolded, unforeseen circumstances led to its transformation, reflecting the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. 21 Jump Street, while not without its challenges, remains an interesting exploration of undercover policing, leaving its mark on television. Its significance lies not only in its storytelling, but also in the untold stories behind the scenes.